Good afternoon, YouTube. Pastor Dave here, August 24th, 2011. That's right. I had to say good afternoon, YouTube, instead of good morning, YouTube. My place of employment, as I told you a while back, we're handing off extensive layoffs. Through your prayers, I was spared. But now I've got to pay the consequences. They've got me on full time midnights, and things are not looking good at my place of work, so keep me in your prayers that uh, all of us have a job uh, before too long. So I'm trying to get accustomed to this midnight uh, shift and the lack of sleep thereof, but uh, give me a couple of days, I'll be back in the morning to um, bring you Bible prophecy. I am your watchman. I watch for Bible prophecy in these the end, the very, very end days. Um, before I, let me tell you real quick what we're going to talk about today. A lot going on is God, our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, on the terror watch list now. I think a stern message was sent to Washington. Uh, a lot of things going on in the world. Heat, uh, extensive heat index, uh, red alert, heat warnings for Hungary. I'm going to bring you that. We got to keep our eye on this hurricane and where its path of destruction is heading. Hurricane Irene, we're going to pray and keep our eye on that. Um, we're going to talk more about the 5.9 quake and uh, what I believe prophecy-wise is taking place. Um, you're going to find this interesting. September 29th, Comet Elenin in alignment. We've got the Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah. I'm going to talk about that and a new uh, alignment. The numbers are adding up to. Are you ready for this? And we'll bring you the story in a moment. 666. Six, six. But first, I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. I cannot wait. I just got back from the mailbox again. I'm waiting for my rapture ready coffee cup. And it's going to have a Bible verse on the back. And that's my surprise. I don't know what the, what the verse could be. And, you know, when I talk about rapture, I used to get upset. People would leave me bad comments. And now I give thanks and I rejoice. Because I must be doing the Lord's will. The will of my Heavenly Father. And it gets Satan pretty angry. But let me let me clear one thing. I had one comment that said, well, I, it was written there. I deleted it. Well, now Pastor Dave is going to start selling coffee cups on his YouTube channel. I would not sell that cup for all the money in the world. Can I say rapture? When the rapture does take place, uh, when the church is taken, if I'm fortunate enough to to be selected as the bride the cup's coming up there with me and you can bet on that I want to make one thing clear I believe the word of God uh, the word of salvation should be given freely it should be given freely there shouldn't shouldn't be charging for such things and that that irritates me with a lot of pastors there should be no price on preaching salvation now for some bad bad news everybody as you know my internal speakers on my laptop are are shot and I've got these they're kind of cool they light up you see how they light up uh, let me show you remember when you were a teenager and you had the, the the light up dice on your mirror that's kind of what they remind me of but I used to bring you the the ram's horn the, the chauffeur and sound, and sound that trumpet at the beginning of my videos but with the internal speaker shot I can't do it any longer. I've been looking. I've been online. I'm getting excited. I don't have the money to buy it. But they sell the Rams horns, the, uh, the chauffeur. And I'm going to get one, one way or the other. I'm gonna, wouldn't that be a nice addition to my channel to sound that uh, Rams horn, that chauffeur, before I start my videos? And I had a dumb idea. I said, I'm going to save up my money because I don't know if I'm going to have a job tomorrow the way things are going at my work. And by Christmas, I might have enough money to get it. And I'm thinking, we may not be here December 25th. We may not be here tomorrow. Let me take you now to what's going on in the world. Um, I think our Heavenly Father sent a stern warning. A stern warning to Washington yesterday. Um, if you go against Israel, there's going to be consequences. You're going to pay the consequences. And I think that was just the beginning. And it opened a lot of eyes. Parts of the Pentagon and the White House were um, evacuated, loss of power, 
I, I heard even cell phone activity. Cell phones went down. And it's a 5.9. at a 5.3 in Oklahoma, 5.9 in uh, uh, Virginia yesterday. But I think it's just a stern, stern warning of what's to come. As I have brought you all along, I do the earthquake reports. 7.1, 7.0, Vano, 6.8, Japan. Um, this shook a lot of people, a 5.9. But what if it was a 6.8? What if it was a 9.0? What if it was a 12.1? So I think this is just the prelude of things to come. We're almost in the month of September. We're at the end of August. Let me take you... Uh, now, is, you know, I'm just wondering. Um, the way our government works is if you walk into Walmart, you know how they have the TV cameras, uh, see something, say something. Is, is God on the uh, terror watch list now? Israel was. Remember Obama put Israel on the uh, terror watch list? I'm sure our Heavenly Father is. Um, I wonder if he's uh, uh, on the no-fly zone. I think our Heavenly Father can go wherever he wants to go. Let me bring you what's taking place in the world today. Then, for the finale, some starting information I got today regarding comet element and alignment. And some numbers adding up to not a good, not, not a good set of numbers. Um, let me take you to the what's going on in the world. Real quickly, we're going to start with floods, earthquakes everywhere. Um, I'm going to make it quick. Oklahoma City, 51 straight days of 100 degree temperature and higher. The heat breaks a 31 year record. This came out August 23rd. My goodness. Um, in Nigeria, biblical flood, four killed. Uh, 1,800 people displaced. I won't read the entire thing. Helsinki hit by heavy floods. Streets and cellars flooded on Monday evening, August 23rd. You see the pattern? Floods all around the world. A lot of people are, are focusing on HARP, and they do have, and they believe me, they do have the technology to create earthquakes, floods uh, around the world and, and manipulate the weather. But I think we're looking at a lot bigger picture with Comet Elenin. Uh, in our orbit and uh, um, all the things that's been happening since the beginning of the year. I think we are getting ready for the tribulation here. Severe weather, flash floods hit London. Uh, flash floods in Albuquerque destroy Apple Farm and now a oh, heat wave hits Austria. Heat wave hits Austria the current week is expected to be the hottest of this year, meteorologists said uh, today, Tuesday. Experts explain this week's top daytime temperatures of between 30 and 38 degrees centigrade were likely to make it the hottest week of the whole year. They did not rule out that previous temperature records for August could be broken in the coming days. Heat wave hits Austria. Red alert! Meteorologists warn of extreme heat on Wednesday through Friday in Hungary. Hungary's meteorologist services have issued a red heat alert, the highest for them for most parts of the country from Wednesday. A warning has been given for daily mean uh, daily temperatures rising above 27 degrees Celsius on three consecutive days in 14 out of 19 countries or counties rather and Budapest. Um, so much taking place in the world. We got to keep our eye on Hurricane Irene and follow where is this path of destruction headed everything is falling perfectly I am your watchman everything is falling perfectly perfectly in place for September um, now this you're gonna find uh, very very interesting this was sent to me by a viewer and a subscriber uh, this morning I just discovered something this has got to do with the alignment of common Elenin and Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets, where they blow the chauffeur. I'm going to get me one of those, believe me. Are you ready for this? I just discovered something on September 29th. Comet Elenin will be exactly 666 AU from the Sun. Same day as the Feast of Trumpets. Same day as the alignment foretold in Revelation 12, 1 through 4. Um, we're talking about the uh, uh, 
constellation where it forms Virgo with the uh, sun, where she's cloaked in the sun with the earth at her feet and about to give birth. Um, look up, people. Pray that you be counted worthy to escape the things told in Matthew 24, Luke 21, and Revelation 4, 18, 666 AU on September 29th. Unbelievable. You know, I do believe in a pre-tribulation rapture and after the seven years when Jesus appears in the clouds and every eye shall see him and he comes with an army of his saints. I want to be in that army when the saints go marching in. I want to be in that number. I want to stand next to our Lord with a sword and with a shield and do battle against the devil. I want to take the devil out. I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. God bless everybody and watch if I don't somehow I'm going to get me the chauffeur. I love you. I love you all so much. God bless.